record welcome back to the cave of science and we're going to look at working on some stuff here on our periodic table first thing i'd like you to notice is this line here this black line and i guess i can try to highlight it again right here and through here and this really separates the metals from the nonmetals. so on this side the black line are nonmetals. And to the left of the black line are the metals. These are the two general categories on the periodic table. Uh, typically, when you have two nonmetals combining, they're called covalent compounds. And if you have a metal and a nonmetal combining, they're called ionic. But one thing you need to start uh, recognizing is all of these sitting on the left hand side of this staircase are really the, the metallic elements and these on the right hand side are going to be the non-metallic elements. So that's one big uh, category on here that you should start recognizing. So if you have two non-metals combining such as all oh, you have carbon dioxide that is a covalent compound. An ionic compound, oh, let's say we've got sodium and chlorine, NaCl, sodium chloride, that is a metal and a nonmetal. So make sure you recognize that when you start looking at the periodic table. One other thing we want to uh, look at here, and let's see if I can put it right there. And let me draw a box here. Yeah, let's see if we can get a different color in here. Oops, the brush size seemed to have uh, got a little bigger there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's look at, well, we can look at any of these elements here. Well, let's look at carbon. So we got carbon in here. And carbon has an atomic number of six. Oh, that's not going to do any good. We want to close that down. Let's see, carbon has an atomic number of six, and it's got a atomic weight of 12 something. I think it's 12.01. Well, the thing to remember here is when you when you look at a uh, an element, is that the number on the top is the atomic number. That is the atomic number. And that is the number of protons that is the number of protons in the element. The number of protons in the element is the element. It's like the social security number. It's also the number of electrons in a neutral in a neutral atom. So if I got an atomic number of six, that also means I got six electrons. All right, the next thing we're going to look at. We're going to look at the, the bottom one number, which is the atomic mass. It, oops, let's see, get rid of that. The atomic mass is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So for uh, you look at carbon here, we've got six is our atomic number. So that means we've got six protons. So we also have six neutrons. 
the electrons themselves really don't enter into the atomic mass. So when you start looking at that, the atomic mass is the number of protons and the number of neutrons. And as you look at each particular uh, element on the periodic table, that's what you're going to see there. Uh, quite often you'll see some not whole numbers, and it's the average, really it's the weighted average of the isotopes. For most of our work we're going to do in class, you can either round up to the whole number or at least round up to the, the tenth. So that is some uh, very uh, elementary and uh, beginning uh, information for the periodic table. So we'll see you next time.